How can something so tiny like atoms be so powerful and dangerous? Want to know more about the Chernobyl nuclear power plant disaster? Then check this out. Nuclear energy is a type of energy that is held inside atoms. When you split an atom, then this energy is released. For something so tiny it gives out huge amounts of energy, but getting this energy out of an atom is extremely dangerous. So what happened at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant in 1986 and why do we need to be careful when handling such powerful energy? Check out this informative PowerPoint. Over 30 years later, in a time of climate change and green renewable energy, find out what happened at the timeline of events of this disaster. The Chernobyl nuclear power plant was a large power station where electricity was made. It had four nuclear reactors generating energy to make electricity. However, on Saturday the 26th of April 1986, a safety test went wrong in reactor number four, causing a massive explosion that detached the cover, releasing harmful radiation into the atmosphere. After that, there was a second explosion which blew up the whole reactor building, releasing more radioactive material and starting fires. It's very difficult to put a number on how many people died or will die from the radiation from this disaster, but estimates range from 4,000 to 90,000 because of all the related health problems that can be triggered by radiation, such as some cancers. Use the information on the PowerPoint to create a fact file poster. Your children might like to include pictures, facts, and the advantages and disadvantages of power plants. Using our nuclear energy activity pack, you'll be able to let children make up their own minds on whether or not they approve of the use of nuclear energy. Start by showing your class the PowerPoint filled with useful information, advantages and disadvantages. From this point on, you can ask your class to be split in teams of those who approve of nuclear energy and those who do not. Using the notes provided, your class can then form their arguments and debate this. Why don't you arrange your class chairs in a circle for the debate to engage in a whole class group discussion? Another resource is this Key Stage 2 reading and comprehension using informative differentiated sheets all about the Chernobyl disaster. Answers are included too. Please note the sensitive nature of the content and ensure that it's suitable for your educational environment for use. I am sure you can see the value of these resources, so please leave a star rating and comment below to let us know what you think. Thank you for watching and bye for now.